we're going to move on then to Chris calling in from he, him, uh, calling in from he, him. I read it backwards. Chris calling right. in from New York, pronouns are he, him, said he has a question about the origin of life. Hi, Chris. I'm very dumb. How are you today? I don't know what you're talking about. The weather in he, him is perfectly warm this time <laughs> of year, so. So oh, I'll man. And you were so so close with some of your earlier stuff and hello johnny as well um but i specifically called her for sorry about that in talking <laughs> with uh my theist friends they, it does come up the origin of life and how we go from non-life to living matter and you were basically i got more information with your earlier calls than i have so far mm -hmm. but you were so close with it Mentioning how we have steps one through 200, you know, going through with it, is there some resource yeah. that I could look up to or maybe you've even done a video or familiar with it that sort of goes through these steps of from the yeah. Miller-Urey experiment to the first cells and then going through just so it's easier to explain to them, okay, you go from amino acids to proteins and then we have this experiment showing it and then you go from proteins to, yeah. and that's in my head, I'm not biologically minded, so, so I don't know. So for any lay person that's out there that wants to look this up, this is called the astrobiology primer. It's loose. You print it off. It's like, it's like a hundred pages. It's not really that long. Um, but like it's the astrobiology primer. Um, this is published by NASA. This is version 2.0 that's out right now. They are currently working on another one. Um, one of my friends, Dr. Lena Vincent is actually, a, 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 a someone who is working on the, the new version right now. She's super cool. Um, but anyway, you go through this and it, that is just straight white paper on the screen there. I'm going to put that away because that's just blinding. But this is, uh, it's a primer into astrobiology. It, it tells us, um, it just it, in very simple terms, explains, you know, what we know about how planets form, about how solar systems work, about how stars make new heavy elements, things like that. And then also everything that we know so far about like how life gets started. Um, and this version was last uh, updated. The, the one I have here is in 2016. So even it's like I said, they're updating it. They're putting more stuff out there. But like, that's a super great resource that anybody can go look at and learn just like the the, the general idea of everything we know. Um, and also since 2016, I don't know if they've updated it, you know, as far as like putting stuff, I don't know what version they're on at this moment. Um, you know, we found those other nucleotides, um, those other nitrogenous bases. Uh, I think we were missing like two of them when that was printed, one or two at least. Um, so like we have found more cool stuff. And so like, when I talk about the different steps, when you talk about, for example, um, protein, uh, like where those come from, we know that amino acids can self-assemble. We know that they can, uh, polymerize, that they can, they can, you know, form peptide chains by themselves on the micro droplet, uh, edge surface tension of micro droplets of water, like the kind of thing you would get from like sea spray. Um, and we know the cool things that they can do while they're assembled. One thing that we're missing in there is that, you know, most every single organism needs uh, what we call homochiral um, uh, amino acids, meaning they all have to be shaped in the right way. So when you have um, a carbon with carbon has four bonding sites, you have four different things bonded to it. When you have each one of those four things is different, then it's what we call chiral. It's it's you go into what we call stereochemistry, where depending on how you rearrange those four things, what order they're in, the molecule behaves differently. And so you uh when you have you know the amino acids create life um you need homochirality you need them all arranged in the same particular way and we don't have a solid abiotic way of doing that but we know one surely exists because we find it this way and so like just because we don't know how it works yet we know that it does work we just don't know how and so that would be like the step two we know that amino acids, we, or that would be like step 18. We know how stars form. We know how these heavy elements form. We know how planets form. We know how these simple molecules that, that form amino acids form. We know how the amino acids form. We're missing this little step where exactly how they get to the state that they're in. And then we know how the amino acids go on to do protein stuff. And then we know how the proteins do other things. And like, so we have all these steps and we're missing this one. Um, and if you had asked me that 20 years ago, we would have been missing five. And so like, that's just, that's, that's how it works. So that's a good resource for anybody. If you want to go pick that up. Um, and I will look up really quick to see NASA astrobiology primer. And it looks like here's, it's the top link on the, on the googlies. 
And here's the Astrobiology Primer, second edition, published in 2016, free download link right there. It looks like it's the same one that I've got. They haven't uh, updated it much, um, but they are working on, as far as I know, version 3.0 right now. So yeah, that's a cool thing that anybody can look oh, up. That's definitely something I'll look to. And it's I tried Googling it myself, but I didn't know what terms to look for. And you know, one of those things, I don't know what I, just, I don't know. So I, I figure- I just put it in the chat resource, and I'm going to- so. Yeah, I'm going to put the NASA website in the chat too there as well. So you have both versions if you want. But yeah, literally just Google NASA Astrobiology Primer. And here it is, uh, uh, Astrobiology at NASA, Life in the Universe, first edition or second edition. You download it for free. Um, and like I said, it's only it's not very long at all. You can you can read it and, or cramp, print it out, sit there with a highlighter and just read it through it. That's exactly what I did during, a, it was the middle of OCHEM class when I was supposed to be paying attention to how to how to do friggin' uh, uh, hydroxy acids and things or whatever the hell it was. I don't even remember because I wasn't paying attention because I was doing that. <laughs> all right, well, I'll let you get on to other callers. Thank you so much for answering my question. You guys have a wonderful night. Hey, thanks so much. And thank you for waiting for two hours to ask that question. I'm so Oof. sorry it took so long.